ಭಕ್ತಿಂ ಘ್ರಾಣ ಜ ಜೀವಾ ವಿಷಯಬೋಧನಾತ್ ವಾಕ್ಪಿ ಪಾದಗುದಮ್ಯಪಸ್ತ ಕರ್ಮೇಂದ್ರಿಯಿ ಪ್ರವಣೇನ ಕರ್ಮಸು ನಿಗದ್ಯತೆಂತ ಕರಣ ಮನೋದಿ ಅಹಂಕೃತಿಶ್ಚಿತ್ತಿತಿವೃತ್ತಿ ಮನಸ್ತು ಸಂಕಲ್ಪ ವಿಕಲ್ಪನಾದಿ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಪದಾರ್ಥಾಧ್ಯವಶಾಯ ಧರ್ಮತ see very nicely when he says after praising the student he initiates the teaching and he says atmani avadharaye i shall now tell you what is this atma anatma viveka what is this self what is the not self what is that i the meaning of the word i and what all it is not so first he started with the gross body and we saw it elaborately how the body is innocent instrument like the gruhavat gruham edina like the house of the house owner and it has got sambhava jara marana di dharma the nature of the body is it is born it is aging it is dying also through this body we experience the dream is a waking state the body is the access point to the universe also sthula adi fat lean diseased healthy shishu adi avastha childhood youth old age all these are the conditions of the physical body puja mana bahumana bahu mukha puja abamana bahumana sometimes people garland this body sometimes they talk ill of this body sometimes they respect this body all these things are the level of the physical body alone it doesn't touch the i the self the absolute thus you can see if you give on to seizure as they say in english if you give on to seizure that belongs to seizure what belongs to the king give it to king what belongs to somebody give it to him why are you taking somebody's object are you getting that whatever is yours you take whatever is somebody's you give it to them so the limitation belongs to the gross body gross body has the childhood youth old age right or wrong ha huh? the body is born baby the body is born growing to be the youngster the body becomes adult the body is old like a tree from a seed it is growing two leaves now there is a small tree of 10 feet now there is 30 feet now 100 feet now the tree is dead exactly like that from the seed the seed is planted in the mummy's womb and there is the egg and the sperm meet and then comes the small baby like a zygote small as they say the 1 millionth part of a pin head so tiny 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 in that is the blueprint of the whole human being then it grows and grows and grows in the mother's womb then comes out it grows now it is child now it is young now it is adult now it drops towards the growth of the body what is your contribution you body is hungry you feed it if you don't feed it you will be in trouble that's what you think therefore you go on feeding it the body grows up then you think as though i am eating you know the body is just strange eh? it grows up 
all the natural changes take place like an animal, then the body is dead. All the limitations belong to the physical body and that is the access point to the physical universe. Without the body, gross body, we shall have no access to the universe. Therefore, this body is like my home. Gruhavat, yes. Gruhavat, Gruhamedina. Like there is an indweller in the house looking at the world through the doors and windows. The doors and windows in the house do not look at the creation, but there is a person living inside looking at it. Same way, the sense organs do not by themselves see anything, experience anything, or crave for anything, or resist anything. It is the indweller, the I thought. Thus we shall see now, so gross body is not the I, the self. Now he goes into the subtle body, sukshma sharira. The, when the gross body is bhoga ayatana, the subtle body is bhoga sadhana, through which the body experiences everything or the subtle body experiences everything through the gross body. Now read that. Huh. So we saw that. And what is the subtle body? What are the things are now? Buddhindriyani shravanam tvagakshi ghranam cha jivha vishayopa bodhanat Buddhindriyani jnanindriyani. What are they? Shravana ear, tvak skin, akshi eyes, Grana, nose, jiva, tongue. These are the five known as the jnana indriya, buddhi indriya. Buddhi means, buddhi indriya means jnana indriya. That which gives you knowledge. Why do you call it to be the buddhi indriya, jnana indriya? Because vishaya ababodhanat. Vishaya ababodhanat. Vishaya ababodha. Because it gives you the knowledge of the sense object, vishaya. Vishaya Ababodha. The ears give you the knowledge of the sounds. The skin gives you the knowledge of the sensation of touch. The tongue gives you the knowledge of the taste. Eyes provides you the knowledge of the forms and colors. The nose provides you the knowledge of the different types of fragrance. So because of these knowledge that they provide, we call them as the buddhindriya, jnanindriya. That is which is the jnanindriya, that is the sense organs through which we get the knowledge of the world. And what are the karmendriya? Vakpani pade gudamapyupastha karmendriyani pravanena karmasu vak, organ of speech. Your tongue is two things. The tongue is a sense organ, provides you taste. The tongue also helps in speaking, vak. Then pani, your hand, pada, your feet, payu, anus, upastha, genitals. These are the five organs of action. Why do you call it as the karmendriyani? Because pravanena karmasu, through these organs, from this organ of speech, hand, leg, and two excretory organs, with these you engage yourself in action. With the sense organs, when you take the world into yourself, with organs of action, you express yourself out into the world. See the beautiful arrangement in this gross body. In this, the, the five sense organs and the five organs of action. Now, these are the sthula, the ears, eyes, as you're touching it, it is sthula. Because the sthula, the gross eyes, the gross sense, uh, ears do not listen. If it, the gross ears have to listen, gross eyes have to listen, the dead body will listen. The body is lying down. But the body doesn't listen. In the presence of the subtle body, it listens. Are you getting that point? It is just like you have got a home. Now when the home, the doors are closed, you go and knock the door of the house. Suppose there is indweller. Somebody is inside the house, you knock it and they open the door. Suppose there is nobody opening the door. 
you knock, knock, knock on all sides of the house also, you go on knock and shout. If nobody opens the door, what do you say? I think these people have left the house. Chala gaya. They left. They have left the neighborhood. They have left. When did they leave? They never told, but they have left. Like that also in this gross body. When suppose the person is sleeping, let us say he does not get up. In the night, morning, 8 o'clock, doesn't get up. You knock the door. Where is the door? All over. Because the skin is all over. The organ of touch is all over. So top to toe, tip to toe, you can knock anywhere you want. And if the person is inside, yes. Suppose you go on knocking from top to toe, all over, you knock, 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 knock. And there is no response. What shall you say? I think chala gaya, left. Are you getting that? So when you, if the indweller is there in the house, if you knock the door, he responds from within. Yes, I'm coming, coming, coming. Don't knock the door. So because some people bang, 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 you know. They bang the door. So when you say, what do you say? I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't bang the door. I'm coming. But suppose there is nobody inside after knocking the door for a long time, nobody responds. What happens? What do you say? Chala gaya, left. Same thing body, in whose presence the physical body responding, in whose absence the body doesn't respond, subtle body, sukshma sarira. In this sukshma sarira, there are five sense organs and five organs of action. The sense organs, subtle sense organs, and this is golaka, the gross, through the sense organ, we take the world into ourselves. And with the organs of action, we express ourselves into the world. With the eyes, you see the fire. With the mouth, you shout, come on, help us, help us, fire, fire. With the eyes, you see the tiger, please help me, there is a tiger. With the ears, you hear somebody shouting. With the, tongue, with the leg, you run towards it. With your eyes, you see the mosquito. With the hand, you go on smashing. Everything. You see the world onto yourself. You express yourself into the world. Same thing also when you are afraid, not only pleasure. When you go there and you saw suddenly a tiger is running towards you. Not only your leg takes you away, but with excretion, urine and excretion. excretion. Out of sheer fright, you urinate, you excrete out of sheer. Understand? There's a reaction to the fear, there's a reaction to the pleasant situation, both ways. Not knowing about it, what I say? I see, I hear, I touch, <laughs> I smell, I say it, I speak, I read this, oh, you. Huh? Are you getting that point, please? Observe. Atmani avadharaya. Hold it on yourself. See it in yourself. Of the sense organs with which you take the world into yourself. So who is seeing? I just see or you see? The eyes a report. Because the eyes see, listen carefully. Because the eyes see, therefore you say you see. Or, unless you say I see, the eyes will not see. Suppose you don't say I see, eyes will not see. Eh? The eyes will see. Because eyes do not depend on the individuality, the eye. You don't need to be a seer, hearer, taster, toucher, experiencer for the experience to take place. Experience takes place. As you are looking at it, suddenly you saw a satellite in the sky. Suddenly the eyes zeroed on that satellite. You know, I saw a satellite. Immediately what do you say? Hey, I saw a satellite. I saw a satellite. Why are you excited? Are you getting that point, please? You must see. 
last night even last evening i was in the uh, in the terrace again i saw that uh, two big owl i thought one now two going i'm so happy the pair big pair of owl flying oh. now did i go to sit down to see there no i simply was sitting the body was sitting down there i am conscious Suddenly, two birds. Suddenly, what do you say? Oh, I saw these two. What do you saw? I is reported. Why are you excited? To give a statement, I can say. Today, saw two. It's like the binocular getting excited about the tiger. Huh? <laughs> It's an instrument. Are you getting that point? The body is an instrument. Sensor is an instrument. but we forget we see and get so excited about perception that is where comes your steadiness in life you perceive understand perceptions are normal natural effortless reactions are either habitual made up learned behavior that is why if your parents are very good and they have trained you well or you go to a school where you learn how to behave they have told you don't talk when two people are talking certain good manners certain good manners when the children are taught do not talk when two people are talking but suppose somebody has not told you this especially in indian context you can see no indian can wait cannot they must interfere two people are talking he cannot keep quiet he must give his wise judgment it is so frustrating but then you have to swallow because you have also been told not to react to when people are when people are stupid don't tell they are stupid so you swallow and suffer and suffer programmed this fellow is programmed to be <laughs> crazy other people are programmed to tolerate now both are stupid you must learn where to say no also You can't just go on telling yes when somebody is continuously interrupting. Say, please don't do that. That's not a nice behavior. Of course, the person listen for one second. Again, he continues. Like you can see, have you ever seen people playing cards? Four people will be playing. One player will be sitting down there and is watching. Then slowly he say, put that, put that, put that, put that. Then put, put this, put this. Then he gets so excited. Take the card from his hand. You go. I'm playing. <laughs> like that, this ooh, you know that people cannot keep quiet. Two people are talking, sitting down. You listen from the distance, and you get gravitated towards it. Then come there, and without any solicitation, you enjoy, you know, join the topic, and then you completely take over. There is nothing, nothing. then you don't know what to do unconscious behavior so when you are trained to see when you are trained to perceive same thing also you know the eyes see why should i get excited ears hear why do i get excited yeah i can say i saw this nice i heard this if you want to get excited also excited but no more craving for it or resisting it your behavior becomes absolutely fantastic suppose a perception gives you happiness in the absence of it it will be miserable are you getting that point please that is why when you make meditation a sensation in the absence of it you become miserable when i was sitting now there i have felt like this but no more i am feeling like that only one time i felt so what are you looking for sensation not meditation 
Meditation is not a sensation. Anyway, we shall see all that. So, sense organs will report organs of action. There shall be the movements depending on the perception. But these, even though certain reactions are very spontaneous, as a human being, you have to be a little more conscious. Animal sees, runs. Animals have no conscious judgment. And any human being who doesn't have a conscious judgment, who doesn't act deliberately, is animal. Are you getting that? Animals do not have conscious, deliberate behavior. So any human being who acts unconsciously, speaking, shouting, compulsive talk, that also becomes also like, almost like an animal. Are you getting that point, please? So, watch out. When you are going into Atma and Atma Viveka, you discover and you see, it introduces to you, there are five sense organs which report, five organs of action through which there is a natural expression, but you have to be very conscious. Don't say, I see or I slap. That is the job of the sense organ, seeing, hearing, testing, touching. Hands, legs, movements are there. I see the tiger. Legs will naturally run for life. You can be absolutely conscious. That is why if you consciously behave, you will see your threshold of tolerance increases. You can take a lot of things. Simple example I will give you. Suppose... Somebody gives you a, you know, you are sitting down there. Huh? You are sitting down. Somebody brings a safety pin or a syringe for the injection and pushes it. You are sitting down there, he suddenly puts it. How do you feel? Ah! Because you become very, very painful. Don't do that. He says, okay, no, no, I want to give. Okay, you want to, you want to give an injection. Why don't you tell me? All right, do it. So you are very conscious and you say, okay, do it. So you are ready, totally conscious. And now he puts it. Ooh. What do you feel? Oh, okay, 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 okay. But suppose you are sitting down there and it simply does it. <laughs> are you getting the difference between conscious and unconscious behavior? While eating, you sit down there and put it there. Wow, 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 like an animal. You know, animal eats a lot. Do you know why? Because he doesn't know whether he'll get it or not again. Why the animals eat so much? When the food is there, the animals finish it up. Why? Because they are not sure whether it will come or not. Let him eat. Human beings also, suppose they behave the same way. You know your breakfast is there, you know the lunch is there, you know the breakfast also full, lunch also full, dinner also full. Then what happens? Your stomach is full. Nice, big stomach carrying and hanging around. Beautiful. Are you getting that? Conscious. When somebody tells you something, hey, you fat or lean, he's talking to the body, it's okay. You can take a lot, you can swallow a lot. But if you're unconscious, ah, how are you taking? Oh, you heavy reactions, heavy reactions. That is why the ultimate in good behavior is self knowledge. If you are aware of yourself, you don't have to train people to be decent and kind. With the moment somebody is conscious and deliberate, he will know when to talk, when not to talk. It is wanted, I do. It is not wanted, I don't. If I am asked to do so, I will do it. If I am not asked, so what? Unnecessarily, you don't poke your nose into anybody's affair. So, five sensor and organs wax, all that you have seen in Tattva more. Now we're going to that. Then comes the mind. Nigadhyatanta karanam manodihi ahankruti chittamiti svavrittivi. Now, nigadhyatanta karanam nigadhyati. 
as even subtle body, you got five sense organs, five organs of action, now it's antah karanam nigadyate. The inner instrument, antah karana, the mind, vaguely mind. Antah karana means all the thoughts, we shall talk about it. What are they? Mano, dhi, ahankrutadi, ahankruti, chittam, manaha, mind, dhi, intellect, ahankara, ego, chitta, memories, svabhrutti vihi. According to the type of vritti, the name is given to the inner instrument. Vritti means a thought modification. Depending on the type of thought that is coming, the inner instrument is named as mind or intelligence or memory or ahankar, I thought. So now have a clear insight into all your thoughts. Are you getting that, please? See how beautiful it is introducing you to the whole creation, your gross body, to all your sense organs, organs of action, and now comes to your thought level. There are four types of thought. Mana, buddhi, chittam, ahankar. Are you getting that? You have already heard about it, so it will be easier. Again and again, Shastra repeats. Again and again, when you go through the different books, somewhere or other, there will be some repetition. Why? Because by chance, somebody has missed it in the last text. Suddenly, it hits you now. Huh. Everything is there in every text. But sometimes, someplace, it hits you. Same thing you have heard ten times. But suddenly, it hits you which previously did not. It happens. Therefore, they go on repeating it. But you see the truth for yourself. Now, there are four types of thought. According, according to the Swavritti Vihi, according to the nature of the thought, we name it Mana, Buddhi, Chittam, Ahankara. And what is that? Manasastu, Sankalpa Vikalpana Divi. What do we call as the manaha, mind, eh? is sankalpa vikalpana, sankalpa vikalpa. Do I do? Do I not do? What do we call as the vacillation? Vacillation, unsteady, indecision. Sankalpa vikalpa. Shall I go or shall I not go? Morning when you get up, Mind will be tremendously active. Sleep, hey, get up, sleep, get up. <laughs> Which one to do? Sleep, get up, sleep, get up. Most of the time, most of the people are at the level of the mind. Because most of the people go through indecision a lot of times. Eat or not eat. Go for breakfast, I'll not go for breakfast. And Sadhibra, idli, eat or not eat? Ugh. All right. Shall I sleep or wake up? Shall I write or not write? Shall I write or read? I should read, but I must write also. Oh boy. Shall I wash my clothes or not? Go to temple or not? Shall I work it or not? Every time. You know, these are the type of whole day. Whole day, especially if you are a little more conscious, listen carefully, especially if you are a little more conscious, you shall be aware of your indecision. People who are not conscious, they do whatever they feel like doing. <laughs> that is why they get into glorious mess. Whatever they feel like doing, they do. Whatever they feel like talking, they talk. Whatever they feel like doing, they do. Then they don't know what to do. The problems come up. Unconscious activity. Most people are in unconscious activity. That is why if you are a very conscious person, you don't you even ignore their unconscious speech. Why? That person doesn't mean anything. It's like the child is crying for a balloon. You ignore it for half an hour, the child also will forget it. 
then he shall cry for a flute or a cry for a toy. Because the child doesn't remember that he must have the balloon all the time. Like that grown-up babies also. They take it, they ask you something, then they forget. But sometimes they remember also. Anyway, you don't worry about other people's behavior. Look at yourself. When there is a sankalpa bikalpa. The longer is your indecision, the more disturbed you shall be. The people who are indecisive do not know how to take decision. They become disturbed, ultimately depressed. Does that person love me? Does he not love me? Does he care? Does he not care? Does she love? Does she not love? That is where, you know, when you put people into a fix, you yourself, you don't know. Shall I do it or shall I not do it? If I do it wrong, if I don't do it wrong, God, what shall I do? That is where people become crazy, pressurized, mentally pressurized. If you do something, it is wrong. You don't do something also, it is wrong. Can you stay in that household? Becomes very difficult. Whatever you do is a mistake. Whatever you do is a mistake. Whatever you say also is a mistake. If you say it is wrong, if you don't say also it is wrong. You get tired. Understand? So please see. So that is the time, what shall I do? What shall I do? You keep your mouth shut. Misunderstood, so what? If there is something to talk, I'll talk. If it's not there, nothing to talk. But you move around normally. You can handle every situation. The most difficult person also you can handle. Only if you are more conscious. If you are unconscious, you shall fall a victim. If you are conscious, you can play with the moods. Whatever the person wants to hear, hear. Don't worry. You can play with the mood. Very, very conscious. Anyway, so please see, as you are, that example you can take, when you are traveling to airport, suddenly a thought comes. Did I pack the ticket or not? You have packed it, but a thought comes. Did I pack? Stop. I think I packed. Go. That is how you see people going up and down on the road also. I switched off the gas or came. Did I switch off the gas or came? Or I think I kept it on, you know. When your mind says you switched it off, you go ahead. When you say it did not switch off, you go back to the house. You know, whichever thought. It's so strange. People don't understand. So with one thought, you move up. With another thought, you go back. How long can you do that? You get so fed up with yourself. Come on, you go back. Because who wants to go up and down, up and down? So you go back and look at the thing, you look at open the house and you see the gas, it is really switched up. Hoppa. All right. <laughs> then how do you go? Confidently move. Buddhi. Gas is off. When there is a definite knowledge, nishchayatmika vritti. So when the mana is shankalpa vikalpaatna divi buddhi padartha adhyavasaya dharmata. Padartha adhyavasaya. Knowing things as it is. That is buddhi. That is a buddhiman. The people who are intelligent means they are very, very decisive, very conscious. Nishchayatmika buddhi. They know for sure. Only trouble is, when a falsehood also you think as a truth. <laughs> you know for sure earth is flat. You are an idiot. <laughs> you know for sure that is twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> or like knowing for sure, I am the body. Knowing for sure. Huh? <laughs> that is not nishchayatmika. That is where in the teaching, 
please understand the teaching they come and challenge your convictions about yourself you have so many identities when average person picks up his knowledge from perception listen carefully step by step average person picks up his knowledge from perception that is how books are written earth is flat earth is the center of the solar system there are sun and moon so previously when they'll be writing a book some 1000 2000 years back what is the writing there is a sun there is a moon there is a earth earth is steady sun is moving moon is moving earth is flat ocean will be coming to an end at one point suddenly it will fall this will be the description because whatever perception true to the perception you write okay are you getting that point true to the perception you write then after some time somehow you start questioning the perception you start questioning the perception really earth is steady sun is moving like galileo did it he said no earth is not earth is moving sun is steady and the establishment religious establishment those days huh they did not like they excommunicated him just see the difference so one who question the perception he must have created a lot of disturbance in people's mind why because people are sure earth is flat now he says no earth is not flat you see how much it will be like somebody is decided moon is a god moon is a god now he says no the moon is a planet or you know a satellite huh then you feel disturbed because you have been told moon is a god now he says satellite you can also land there if you are simple mere nature worshipper you will be affected okay so just as even the perceived creation is questioned perception is questioned and therefore you make greater discoveries and you call it science same thing also in your inner instrument so many thoughts you have picked up right thought earth is round wrong thought earth is flat and then the ahankar the i knows now suppose see the indecision is it really flat or it is round in the beginning stages because one person tells you earth is round other person says earth is flat so there is a conflict between religious information is earth is the center or earth is flat science instru- scientific in- information is earth is round and it is steady eh? earth is round and it is moving so that is where comes the conflict between the believer and the science with the person who believes in religion and he thinks it is flawless so which one is right because you think this religion is given by god god can't be flawed therefore scientists are wrong but when the scientists are true what do you do you can't accept that the book can be wrong or the god can be wrong you understand the conflict so who is disturbed now i is disturbed now if the i is disturbed you must recognize ahankar it is the i thought which owns of different thoughts with indecision indecision with decision it is decision what is the ahankara 
अभिमात अहमीति अहंकृति अभिमात अहमीति अहंकृति अभिमात बिकज अब अभिमान योर ड्रैगिंग और योर आइडेंटिफाइंग योर सेल्फ विथ डिफरेंट मूड्स इफ इट्स इन डिशीजन आई डोंट नो विच वन इज राइट डिशीजन आई नो दिस इज राइट नाउ सी द कॉन्फ्लिक्ट बिटवीन द टू पीपल वन पर्सन सेज अर्थ इज राउंड फॉर हिम इट इज डिसीजन अदर से अर्थ इज फ्लैट यू सी द कॉन्फ्लिक्ट नाउ बिटवीन टू इंडिविजुअलिटी Is it a conflict between two individuality, or a conflict between the fact and fiction? It is a conflict between the two individuality, because for one person fiction is a fact, for other person fact is a fiction. <laughs> for one person fact is fiction, earth is round. No, how can earth be round? It's flat. For other person. <laughs> Are you getting that? Fiction is a fact. Earth is flat is a fact. Now, what do you do? So, these type of two people when they fight, call, you know, disturb, discuss with each other, what type of result will come? They'll kill each other. Why? I am true. I am on. You know, I know. <laughs> he says he knows. Now, what do you do? Nobody is available for discussion. Now, as even it can happen between two people, it can happen between in one person. One part of you has been fed with this idea, Earth is flat. Suddenly, you go to school and it is tells you Earth is round. Now, you cannot accept that what all you have learned from the childhood can be wrong because God said that, book said that, religion said that, tradition said that. Thousands of your old tradition, how can it be wrong? now this fellow is telling only earth is round are you getting that their inner conflict comes in two people are you getting that like see any habit you take especially everywhere in especially in indian society when a woman go through their periods shall i go to temple shall i not go to temple you are not supposed to go to temple somebody has told you you should not go to temple or you should not go to another house In your own house, you should stay in one place. You should not touch anything. You should not cook your food. You know, people do that. People do. Other day, I had been to somebody's house, Indian people, in uh, some country, and uh, our class was over. We came back, and uh, the dinner table that day, rice, rasam, and this corn, you know, corn, sweet corn, tinned sweet corn, little sauteed. That is the food. He knows, you know. So that is the food. Then it's not that it's wrong. I was a little wondering because this amma, this lady is very sweet. She always makes so many varieties of dishes. Then I thought maybe she is not well. You know, sometimes it can happen. Somebody is not well. So simple food. What is wrong? How does it matter? Yeah. Then me and that man, uh, man of the house, we both are sitting and eating. She is not visible. Then I say, what happened? She is not all right. Why there is no, you know, I mean, the food is not right. She is not eating, and uh, anything wrong. She is not all right, you know. No, no, no. So I mean, she is not, you know, you know. He is saying, you know, you know. He doesn't want to say anything. I say, what is it? You know, you know. What? Anything wrong? She, you know, because he doesn't want to say the wife is in that is his periods. You know, she is going through his menstruation cycle. Doesn't want to say that. I said, what is that? Then he said, "Okay." I said, "So what happened? He is not supposed to cook. So today I have cooked." I said, "Why is not supposed to cook? What happened?" No, no, no. I said, "I said, oh, okay. Now if I say that he shall think I am crazy, you know. So why should I say anything?" I said, "Okay, all right." I said, uh, "Do you you follow these things? Huh? Very good. You are a top engineer. She is also a top officer in in America. Your bank. You are working, and." Uh, You follow it very rigorously, no? Nice, good for you, no problem. I said, does she go to office these four or five days? Yeah, office she goes. So she, when because she's impure, she's not able to cook your food, no? Yeah, yeah. So these five days she works in the office also. He said yes. Do they give her money for the salary? He said yes. 
do you take that salary? You should say, out of 20, 30 days, 5 days, impure. So I should not touch anything. So that money also, give it away. Do you give it away or keep it? <laughs> money is the only thing which is never impure. You are untouchable, but your money is very touchable. Some people will not touch you, but your money they will take. So disgusting, you understand? But this idea is there. So one idea has come. Now suppose the girl feels, shall I go or shall I not go? Oh, sure. <laughs> Conflict. You have been told something. Are you getting that point? Indecision. And then who is affected? I is affected. So thus you can see the I, the individuality, can go through the conflict between religion, secularism, belief, non-belief. So many different patterns. That is why average person's life is full of conflict. Like that, you have got grown up with the idea, I am the body, I'm a man, I'm a woman, I'm educated, I'm PhD. Then suddenly you say, no, you are not this. How can you say that? You are affected. Why? Why are you feeling affected? Why the hunger feels, I feel affected? Because now it is comfortable with the idea, with an identity. You are taking that identity from him. That is why Vairagya means when you are fed up of your identity, it becomes easier to understand yourself. Suppose you are proud of your identity, you cannot give it up. I am PhD, if you are proud of it, you cannot give up. But suppose you are already feeling down and out because somebody else came and superseded you. Che, this job is useless, this education is useless. I am going to some ashram. Then he says, you are not PhD. True. <laughs> because you are already fed up. Are you getting that point, please? You are fed up with the relationship of a man or woman. You are fed up with the relationship of husband and wife. You are fed up of your husband, you are fed up of your child. You are fed up of being a mother, you are fed up of being a father. You are fed up of being rich. You are fed up of being anything. You are fed up of experiencing also. Are you getting that? When you are fed up, that time somebody says, you are not these things. Must be true. <laughs> that is why people are waiting for old age to understand this truth. Because as long as they are young and strong, they are embracing the role of full Full hug, whole hug, completely hugging onto the, you know, the role, role. I am rich, I am young. To a young man, if you say you are immortal, he say, who cares? I know I am immortal because the young fellow never thinks he is going to die. But when the youth passes, now the heart, uh -uh. <laughs> I think my back is, <laughs> I think my front, eh? <laughs> are you getting that? When the little, little pain begins here and there, I think I must, you are not the body, must be true, you know. But before that, you are not ready to listen anything. <laughs> Understand? Ahankar, eh? Conflict, are you getting that? Ahankar is what? Atra abhimanat, ahamiti ahankriti, atra abhimanat. With indecision, I am indecisive. With the decision, I know. That is the Ahankar, which owns up every thought, including chittam. What is that? Swarthanu sandhana gunena chittam. Swartha anusandhana gunena chittam. What is chittam? When you are sitting down alone, one who is remembering all its pain and pleasure. Swartha anusandhana. Your memory is you are Either you are by yourself consciously reveling or the memories come up and you are reveling in this. What is the memory comes up always? Usually you love your good memories to come up, happy memories to come up. But other memories also come up. And what does they come up for? Reminding you of your past. Can you think of my memories when you are sitting down at home? You can't think of other people's memories. Your memory only you can think of. When you sit down home, see, we are in the same place. Listen carefully. 
with our eyes open, you are looking at me, I am looking at you, all of us are looking at the ashram. The moment we close our eyes, each one is with his own memory. Place is forgotten. Are you getting that? With, when your eyes open, we share the same world outside. Now we are in Tirvannamalai, we are sharing Tirvannamalai. Close your eyes. What shall you be thinking? You don't know. What are you thinking? You don't know. Whatever, what thoughts will come? No more we see the same world. Now our memories are varied. Are you getting that point, please? And which memories shall come? You don't know. But mostly it is your personal swartha, your personal memories. Whatever you have experienced, seen, heard, tasted, touched, smelt, those things will come up. And this I thought, it will own up everything. Swamiji, when I sit down you know, quietly, only my childhood comes. Today, when I sat down, I don't know how, but suddenly the college days comes, you know. I don't know what happens today, I always remember my mother. I don't know what happened, today I am thinking of my school, my school teacher. Huh. Are you getting that? Your memories come up, and this I will own it up. All these are four different types of thoughts. One is indecision, manaha, mind. Other is decision, buddhi, intelligence. Other is memories, call it chittam, which talks about your own past. And I thought ahankar owns up all the three thoughts. With indecision, I am so indecisive, I don't know what to do. And that is what destroys most people. Which one is right? Think, which one is right? Earth flat is right or earth round is right? Big indecision. Religious declarations are right or the scientific declaration is right? This religion is right or that religion is right? This teacher is right or that teacher is right? This book is right or that book is right? My mommy is right or my papa is right? My parents are right or my school teacher is right? My school teacher is right or my religious instructor is right? My religious instruction is right or the scientific investigation is right? Are you getting that? Oh, everything happens through your head. Huge conflict. Who goes through that? Ahankar, I thought. That is the I thought. Okay. That is why you must know the meaning of the word I, Atma, ultimately yourself. Who is this I? With so many, listen, with so many different thoughts, if I am taking different roles, listen. With indecision, indecision. Decision, decision. Memory, memory. If there is no indecision, if there is no decision, there is no memory for a moment, what happens to I? It will come up and say, I am quiet. You don't need to say or think, I am quiet, to be quiet. Outside, there is total silence now. Is it necessary for any one of us to say here, it is so quiet? Is it necessary to describe it? Is it necessary to describe the silence for the silence to be? Same thing within. Is it necessary to say, I to be, your sense of being, consciousness doesn't need a name. You are as much the nameless as in the whole universe. 
that is why nothing has a name in this creation. Nothing has a name, nothing is a name. It has no name. It is not a name. Do you understand? Who are you? That's what it is. Ishwara, Ishwara, Ishwara. So sweet. Okay. So with this pranayama, all this angara over, okay? This much. If you understand this angara, I thought, and the root of it, yourself. Okay. Then play with your memory, play with your decision, play with your indecision, play with everything, 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 everything. Then you uh, go ahead. What shall you do? Don't ask me. You use it. <laughs> Are you getting that point? Thereafter, you use it. What is the job of the drive, driving instructor? To teach you driving or to give you the ideas where you should drive? Driving instructor's job ends with teaching you driving. Thereafter, where you drive is your business. The teacher teaches you who you are, how the mind functions, what is the mana, what is buddhi, what is chittam, what is ahankar, what is body, what is mind, what is sansargan, what is organs of action, what is the world, how is the perception takes place. The whole thing is given to you. Thereafter, how will you use it? You decide. But at no time there is a mess. Are you getting that? When you are consciously using it, you are absolutely free from any type of mess. You are free all the time with yourself. Okay? Okay. I've been telling this. Now read it. Now new, again, five. Uh, um, now, what is that? You have got... Um, Pancha prana, subtle bodies, five sense organs, five organs of action, then mano buddhi chitta mahankara and pancha prana, like that, 19 parts, no? 17, mano buddhi, 17, 19, whatever. So now it includes the pancha prana, read. This doesn't have a meter at all. Prana pana bhyano dana. Samana bhavat yaso prana hain. Swayam eva vritti vedat. Vikruti vedat. Suvarna salila divat. Now come the five pranas. Pancha prana. What are they? Prana, apana, bhyana, udana, samana bhavat yaso prana hain. Prana, that which is breathing. The breathing which sustains this body, they are of five different kinds. Prana, apana, vyana, samana, udana, iti, pancha prana. Soyameva, vritti vedat, vikruti vedat, suvarna salila divat, like suvarna and salila, like gold and water. Gold, Vikruti Vedat. Like you, Vikar, Swarna Vikar. You know, what do you say? Bangle, chain, earring. Same gold, but different names. Water, same water. Wave, shallow water, big water, big wave, small wave. Like that, you. Same water. Pond, lake, ocean. Puddle, puddle, eh? just different size. Are you getting the same water? Exactly the same. Prana is one, but according to its bevahara, its different name is given. That which is breathing in prana, you breathe in prana. Any type of excretion, apana, you know that. No, all these things you know in the tattvot, but this is what you can see. Pragamana banva, that which is you are breathing in. Inhalation, because of it, the body sustains itself, prana. The same vayu, when it's going out in all forms, every type of excretion, sweating and all types of excretion, sweating, spitting, every excretion, apana. That is why when the prana is strong, 
Your everything is strong in the body. Aprana, apana, vyana, samana, udana. Samana is digestion. When you are young, your samana is digestion. Digestion is very strong. Eat uh, stone also, you'll digest it. Young body, no? Anything can be digested. Then vyana, circulation is complete. That is why sometimes when the vayu is moving around the physical body, sometimes somewhere it gets cut. How do you feel? Uh, look at me. Why are you doing that? I'm just looking at me. Look at this. No. Look at me. Instead of looking like this, what do you say? Look at me. What? Why, what happened? <laughs> because <laughs> there is one vana circulation. You know, somewhere the air has stopped. There is air lock. So that time, what do you say? You are like that, or air is gone crazy. When your prana goes crazy, apana is weak, what do you say? No excretion, no sweating, no spitting. That is why old people now when they talk, you know, when they talk, that saliva comes down. He can't spit, he can't. Uncontrolled bladder movement. You see that? The prana goes crazy. Apana goes crazy. Prana, breathing difficulty. I am asthmatic. Huh? Apana goes away. You can't control your, any type of excretion function. And you can't speak also loud. That is why fiery speech, you know, fire. With the prana is strong, organs of action. With the prana is strong, you can speak well. Your hands, legs, movements, excretions, fantastic movement. Sexually active. Excretion good. Movements strong. Hands and legs. Speech. Oh. As you grow old, what happens? Come here. Come here. Why? What happened to you? Until yesterday, hey, come here. Today suddenly prana is down. I don't know. Come. What happened to you? <coughs> that is the time the fellow says, what? Swami, I think I am dying. You are dying or your prana is crazy? Your prana is weak. They say, no, I know my body is disappearing. That is how you can consciously die. I know the body is not disappearing. That is why it is so nice to die naturally. It is so fortunate to lie on the bed and die. Our generation today, we are never sure. Whether you will die in a plane crash, train crash, road crash, God only knows I have a bullet from a uh, Naxalite or from a, a Taliban, Al-Qaeda or a terrorist, you don't ever know. Man has made man's life so miserable. You are not allowed even to die peacefully. Forget living peacefully. When a person is living, at least you create somebody's trouble. When you are dying, after that you will not create anybody's trouble. At least allow the man to die peacefully. No, peacefully also you are not allowed to die. What a beautiful time we are in. How pathetic. Ishwara, Ishwara. Mahadeva. Okay? So, prana, apana, vyana, circulation, then samana, digestion. Udana, udgiranakara, which is on your kantadesha in this place, on your throat. Last moment, when the body, subtle body wants to get out of the gross body, that is the time it is active. That is why the person makes a departing noise. Then you know the person is going, finish. These are the prana, bhati prana. Okay? So these 19 parts make sure subtle body. Also not you. It is not you. Why is it so? Now please read. Now he says. Very clearly he says. He, now having told this, now completes the whole thing. Read. Subtle body. Bhaga di panche sravana di panche Prana di pancha brahmukha ni pancha. Prana di pancha brahmukha ni pancha. 
ಬುದ್ಧಿಯಾದ್ಯವಿದ್ಯಾಕರ್ಮಣಿ ಪುರಿಯಷ್ಟಕ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮಸರೀರಮಾಹು ಇದಂ ಶರೀರಂ ಶೃಣು ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮಸಂಗೀತ ಲಿಂಗಂ ತ್ವಪಂಚೀಕೃತಭೂತ ಸಂಭವ ಸವಾಸನ ಕರ್ಮ ಫಲಾನುಭಾವಕ ಸ್ವಜ್ಞಾನಿರುಪಾಧಿರಾತ್ಮನೆ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ನಾ ಆಲ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಭಾಗಾದಿ ಪಂಚ ಶ್ರವಣಾದಿ ಪಂಚ ಪ್ರಾಣಾದಿ ಪಂಚ ಅವ್ರಮುಖಾನಿ ಪಂಚ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಕಾಮಕರ್ಮ ಇತಿ ಪೂರ್ಯಷ್ಟಕ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಶರೀರಂ ಆಹು ಹೇ ಇಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಶರೀರ ಸಟಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಪ್ರಿವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಥೂಳ ಶರೀರ ಇಸ್ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ದಿ ಅವರ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಥೂಳ ಶರೀರ made out of the five elements and kand it is sambhava jara marana adi dharma it is born growing dying and it is also fat lean thin childhood youth old age all these things belong to the subtle body i mean sorry gross body now what is the subtle body vaga adi pancha the five organs of action ಶ್ರವಣಾದಿ ಪಂಚ ದ ಫೈವ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಅರ್ಗನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಎ ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅರ್ಗನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಎ ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಅರ್ಗನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ದೇ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ಸೊ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಗೋ ಎಲಾಬರೇಟ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಟು ಇಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಣಾದಿ ಪಂಚ ಫೈವ್ ಪ್ರಾಣಾಸ್ ವಿಷ ಪ್ರಾಣಾಪನ್ ವ್ಯಾನ ಸಮಾನ ಉದಾಹರಣೆ ಅಭ್ರಮುಖಾನಿ ಪಂಚ ಅಭ್ರಮುಖ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಕಾಶ ವಾಯು ಅಗ್ನಿ ಆಪ ಪೃಥ್ವಿ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಫೈವ್ ಸಟಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಬುಧಿ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಬುದ್ಧಿಯಾದಿ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಮನ ಚಿತ್ತ ಮಹಂಕಾರ ಅಂಡ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಈ ದ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ದಿ ಸಟಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡೀಪ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ದಿ ಸಟಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ದಿ ಸಟಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಮೂವ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಟು ಬಾಡಿ ವಿ ಶಾಲ್ ಸಿ ಶ್ರವಣ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾದಿ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ದನ್ ಕಾಮ ಕರ್ಮಣಿ ಕಾಮ ಕರ್ಮ ವಿ ಸಾ ದಟ್ ನೋ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಕಾಮ ಕರ್ಮ ವಿ ಸಾ ದರಿ ನೋ ತ್ರೀ ಡೇಸ್ ಅದರ್ ಡೇ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಕಾಮ ಕರ್ಮ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ದರ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಡಿಸೈಯರ್ ಟು ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಟು ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ದರ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಡಿಸೈಯರ್ ಯು ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ದ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಕರ್ಮ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅ ಡಿಸೈಯರ್ ಡಿಸೈಯರ್ has to be satisfied by the karma and the action and if your karma is there you cannot escape the karma phala result of action every re karma every action will have a result you cannot escape it okay so this puri ashtakam sukshma sarra this eight things make it ashta puri puri ashtakam she is a totally another dimension puri ashtakam these are the eight puri eight cities all the eight things completely make it your subtle body sukshma sharira what are the eight things set of sense organs set of organs of action set of prana set of elements four sets then buddhi mana chitta ahankara one subtle in, you know antakarana inner instrument five then avidya kama karma all these eight things put together make it as the sukshma sharira your subtle body see everything that you want to know is inside this are you getting that everything all your emotions your memories your thoughts your i thought your conflict your misery your pleasure 
you are are you getting that everything inside body is an instrument sense organ is a uh, the body is an instrument and the whole vast universe is a field of experience kshetra that is why bhagavad gita when you say it let's say idam sharira kaunteya kshetram iti avidiyate हे कौंतेय इदम शरीर क्षेत्र अविधीयते दिस पर्टिकुलर बॉडी नोन एज दि क्षेत्र इदम शरीर जस्ट ए क्षेत्र क्षेत्र मीन्स क्षरणात क्षेत्र दैट विच इज कंटिन्युअसली डाइंग चेंजिंग देर फोर क्षेत्र द होल यूनिवर्स ऑल्सो इज ए क्षेत्र एवरीथिंग डाइंग एंड चेंजिंग ये तदियो व्यतीत प्राहु क्षेत्र तद्विद वन हु नोज दि क्षेत्र इज क्षेत्र मीन्स जानाती जानाती क्षेत्र जानाती क्षेत्र वन हु नोज दि क्षेत्र वन हु नोज दि क्षेत्र हु नोज दिस क्रिएशन बॉडी हु नोज दि बॉडी युअर सटल बॉडी हु नोज दि सटल बॉडी अल्टिमेटली यू आर दि क्षेत्र एंड ब्यूटिफुली सिंस इट हेज कम कृष्णा से इज क्षेत्र चापी मम विधि सर्व क्षेत्र से भारत हे अर्जुन आई एम दि क्षेत्र इन ऑल दि क्षेत्र द सेम कन्शियनेस एवरीवेर द वन कन्शियनेस ऑल परवेज एब्सल्यू डायमेंशन ओके सो दिस इज नाउ अष्टपुर एवरीथिंग दैट यू वांट टू नो अबाउट योर सेल्फ एवरीथिंग इज इन योर सटल बॉडी दैट इज वाई The gross body is left behind. The subtle body package moves from gross body to another gross body for the birth. That is why the whole package goes. Your memory, everything goes. Samajhi, if everything goes, how come I don't remember everything? Don't you feel grateful that you don't remember everything? Not only that, in the gross body, in the other bodies, like in tiger, you are there. Are all possibilities there. But certain things which can be satisfied in tiger's body only come. That is why karma. Whatever karma can manifest through one particular body, those things manifest. But the entire thing is potential in it. Everything is all your karma. What all you have done, the whole memory is there. But only one part of it is getting exhausted. Come back, then you come back to another life. Until you are aware of yourself. so the subtle body moves away from one body to another sukshma sharir therefore the english word soul not sanskrit word atma usually in indian english we do that in india we equate you equate atma we should pray for the soul so the vernacular language is atma ra sadgati pai prarthana karo you know इनके आत्मा के सदगति के लिए प्रार्थना करो वही आत्मा एज गॉन फ्रॉम दिस बॉडी ए आत्मा डज इन मूव फ्रॉम बॉडी टू बॉडी कॉन्शियसनेस ऑल परवेसी द सटल बॉडी मूव सो द इंग्लिश वर्ड सोल इज सांस्कृत वर्ड सूक्ष्म शरीर सटल बॉडी विच मूव फ्रॉम बॉडी टू बॉडी एंड इंग्लिश वर्ड सोल ऑल्सो डिफरेंट इम्प्लीकेशन द सोल इज वर्ड soul goes and stays some place you know that is the concept the soul goes when the that is the religious concept the soul leaves this body and when he reaches even after the death that is they call all souls day what is all souls day that day everybody should come up for the god to meet and then you have to pass the judgment that you go there or go there you know whatever that whatever don't let's not we have no business in a sense just see that that what soul it goes from one body you know it moves and stays there here that is a soul don't say atma atma doesn't stay in one place or come or go it is all pervasive ever existing so the soul equivalent in this subtle body but again the soul equivalent in subtle body means equivalent but the function of the soul in english language is not the function of the subtle body in sanskrit language because sukshma sharira doesn't stay in one place sukshma sharira travels from body to body and who is suffering not sukhm sharira the ahankar individuality suffering that is why i have the body that's why when somebody asked other question somebody goes to a religious person and ask 
What happens to my body? Oh, it goes to the elements. What happens to my soul? It goes to the heaven or hell. What happens to me? The fellow doesn't know how to answer. Because when you say, because average person doesn't have that type of concept in this theology usually, that me and my soul are different doesn't exist in many theology. Because that is how the ideas are. Let's, you know, I won't go into too much into it. Just see that. But this is why you get confused. So don't equate subtle body with the, I mean, equate soul with Atma. Subtle, in English language, soul is Sanskrit word, subtle body, sukshma, sarira. Okay. And this is Puryashtakam, all things put together. Idam sariram srunu sukshma sangitam. Idam sariram, this body. What is idam? Idam, why it's idam? Because available for objectification. Idam means what? This. You can objectify this. As even you can objectify your gross body, you can objectify your thought. You understand? Objectify. Objectify and dekhi paribo. As you see your body, you can see your thought. As you are, are you getting that? With your eyes, you see your body. You are conscious of the body. When you close your eyes, your eyes don't see the thought, but you are conscious of your thought. So from the consciousness standpoint, it is idam. Consciousness only aham, absolute. The subject, karta, na karanam bhavet. It is the subject, which is never the objectification. Okay, so that is the one in which, in relation to which, sasukhasvara idam and sarira. Sarira because siriyate, it gets disintegrated when you know yourself. When avidya ignorance goes away, subtle body disintegrates. Linga to apanjikruta bhuta sambhavam. Also they call it linga sariram. Sukhma sariram, linga sariram. Why linga sarira? Linga because linam artham gamayati iti linga. That which gives you the meaning, that in whose presence you can get the meaning. Linga, linam artham gamayati. Which helps you to get the meaning. Understand, gross body cannot get knowledge. Subtle body only can get knowledge. Are you getting that? Eyes can only perceive. Can the eyes get knowledge? Radar reports. Radar doesn't interpret. Machines don't interpret. Even if they interpret, ultimately somebody has to read it. Like nowadays, uh, intelligent toilets. You use the toilet and come back, your sugar, blood pressure, everything, they will measure it and give you a computer uh, report. Such things are available nowadays. <laughs> you just pass through. After some time it will happen. You just pass through, they will, oh, your blood pressure, sugar, everything will come up. <laughs> yesterday, day of yesterday, one news, piece of news came. Now, for high blood pressure and artery curing, you know, that artery flex to remove, one medicine is now available. Now they have tested it on 900 people and it's working so wonderfully well. They're saying it's a wonder drug of the century now. 50 million Americans suffer from high blood pressure because in that country they are care, take care to find out. In other countries there may be 100 million suffering but everybody, oh, in our country there is no blood pressure. Why? Because you don't know how to find it out. <laughs> but when so many people are having the blood pressure and the artery defect, now there is one medicine, very cheap. It, is become, it will become very cheap and it will cure people. Imagine how nice it is. So only trouble is, more the cure is available, more idiotic the person becomes. <laughs> Suppose there is a available. You take half a kilo sweet and just take one tablet. All sweets are counteracted. How do you feel? Comfortable. Half a kilo. Take two kilo sweet, take three tablets. <laughs> Nobody wants to stop it. I say more cure available, more difficult the life is. Because you drop your guard. You drop your guard. You know, it's okay. 
It's not there, how does it matter? It's like a man who doesn't have money, he'll be very careful in spending. Very careful. If the rickshaw fellow says, 20 rupees, 15 rupees, why should I say you 20 rupees? If the shopkeeper says, 20 rupees per kilo, other place 18 rupees, why are you taking 20 rupees? But suppose you have too much of money or you are spending somebody's money, and 20 rupees, very cheap, give 4 kilos. One uh, American boy came to manage an ashram in India. It's a true incident. I won't tell the name, situation, anything, but it's true. American boy came to manage an ashram in India. He is used to spending for one kilo of brinjal, seven dollar. One coffee, two dollar. One drink, 1.2 or 2, 2 dollar. Now he was given the charge of ashram. And when he goes to market, Brinjal, how much kilo? 10 rupees. 10 rupees, he calculates. 20 cents? Man, damn cheap. 100 kilo. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't understand. 10 rupees is a big money in India. He won't understand. For him, oh, it's very cheap. Very cheap, you know, ashram money, so, oh. <laughs> So every shopkeeper thereafter started cheating him. Why? Ten rupees is cheap, you know. So when they see him, it becomes twenty rupees. Twenty rupees. Half a dollar only per kilo. Double they are charging. Only half a dollar per kilo. Ah, because he is used to spending six dollar. What do you do? The person who doesn't have becomes very, very careful. When you don't have a cure, you are very careful. When you have a cure, everybody drops the guard. It's all right. Suppose you have an uncle to take care of your problem. It doesn't matter. Why? You know uncle will do it. <laughs> Ishwara, Ishwara. Anyway, So with this physical body, and anyway, come down now, the, the subtle body, linga sarira, through which, in whose presence you observe, thing is body does not know anything, only reports, doesn't interpret, even with the best instruments you discover, they can, like you pass through a scanning, it will say you all the things, but interpretation depends on the, a person, a conscious entity. Same thing, you need to be conscious. So the subtle body is a linga sarira made out of five subtle elements. Savasanam karma phalanu bhavakam. Savasanam. Savasanam is vasana. Please understand that word now. Very important. First time it has come. Savasanam. Savasanam, not shavasana, not that uh, uh, dead body posture. Not. Yes, sa, dantasa, sa, sa, vasana. Vasana means what? Understand. Vasana means? Vasana, the word means bhoga janya samskaraha. Please listen to it, write down, think over it. Vasana. Vasana nama bhoga janya samskaraha. Any sanskara, impression, born of bhoga, experiencing. You hear a sound, impression is created. Hear the music, impression is created. Touch something, that impression is left out. See something, impression is left out. Eat something, the taste impression is left out. Smell something that is left out. Very strong impression it becomes when you repeat the experience. That is why vasana becomes strong. Impression becomes strong. Are you getting that point please? What becomes strong? Vasana, the impression becomes strong. Are you getting that point please? You must watch out carefully because this is one point which destroys many people. They use the word wrongly. 
Now, tell me, what ties you down? The impression, vasana ties you down or you are getting impressioned by your own vasana? Come on. Does the object ties you down or you get your tied down to the object? Right. Thoughts tie you down or you are getting yourself tied to the thought? If you don't get yourself tied to the thought, that is, if you don't depend on your thoughts or impressions of asana, can they affect you? So, to release yourself, should you remove the vasana or should you understand yourself? Huh? Should you remove the vasana or should you understand yourself? Which one you are talking? Should you remove, understand yourself? Yes or no? Yes. Or should you remove the vasana? No. Are you getting that? <laughs> when it is pulling down things from the house, do you remove everything from the house or remove the child? Huh? What do you remove? You remove the child. You don't remove the... If one fellow is making a disturbance in the ashram, should you destroy the ashram or remove the fellow? <laughs> huh? One person is creating sufficient confusion in the office or in the kitchen or in the temple or anywhere. So whom do you remove? Demolish the ashram, demolish the office. You remove the miscreant, the mischief maker. Now, who is creating the mischief in Linga Sarira? In your inner household, who is the miscreant? Vasana, impression or I thought? Huh? I thought. Exactly. So which one you should understand? I am not even asking you to remove it. Why should you remove it? Not necessary to remove it. Let it be there. But help him, to, let it be used. You understand? Removing it now, getting rid of it is a headache. Where shall you get another eye? <laughs> you get rid of one servant, you know how difficult it is. So you have a slave at your disposal. The eye is the biggest slave. The fool carries all burdens on itself. Now teach him how to carry the load. Don't remove it. You understand? But when you say, Ahankara Nasa, I must be, you, you must listen to these things. Vasana, Kshaya, unless the impressions of vasanas are removed, you will not understand the truth. What? What has vasana to do with understanding the truth? <laughs> if vasana is strong, impressions are strong, because you have made it strong, or vasanas are strong? Who has empowered whom? Listen carefully. If the alcohol drags you, you have empowered the alcohol. You say alcohol is wonderful. That is why it drags you. If you say alcohol is alcohol, will it drag you? You give a handle to another person. You make somebody very important in your life. And the other person, it gets into his head. Without me, he can't manage. Without me, she cannot manage. So now oh, he starts manipulating you. So who made him stronger? Because you depended upon him, the other person made you. When you depended upon him, you made him stronger, makes yourself weaker. When you make yourself weaker, now he handles you. You give them a handle to handle you. If I don't depend on pillow, you take away my pillow. But if I depend on my pillow, you, even removing the pillow, you can give me heart attack. Are you getting that? That is a more dependent you are, more dependent you are, weaker you are. So the very rich person who is dependent on so many things is weaker, strong. <laughs> the more things you depend upon, more you. So that is mean only rich people are weak? No, 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 no. You can depend on your one piece of loincloth itself. 
But you can be smart and you can be living in a palace but independent. It depends on you. It has nothing to do with riches and poverty. It has nothing to do with your vasana. Are you getting that point please? So don't say only vasana akshay. So people listen to these type of things. Vasana akshay, vasana akshay. Your vasana must be removed or your impressions must go. And then the poor old people listening for 20 years, 30 years, they will be lamenting at the end of the day. Other day one fellow comes, Swamiji, I don't think I can understand this truth because I have such a strong coffee vasana. You poor thing, somebody has destroyed him forever. <laughs> vasana you cannot understand, you need not remove. Yes. Why? As even coffee outside doesn't create my problem, the thought also inside doesn't create my problem unless I depend upon it. Are you getting that? Object outside is as innocent as the thought inside. The sensation of an, a sensation of an experience is a report. Coffee has a taste. Chocolate has a taste. Ice cream has a taste. Ladu has a taste. Every sound or touch or taste or smell, they have a particular sensation. So I am a knowledgeable person. I know the taste of chocolate. I know the taste of ice cream. But I am not crazy about it. I am happy with myself. If I can have it, why not? No, cannot have it, so what? You can be the richest person, coolest person. You can be the poorest person. Happiest person. Your happiness doesn't depend upon what riches you have or don't have. Your wisdom doesn't depend upon what vasanas you have or you don't have. Rather, if you are a person, wise person, stronger impressions you have, more knowledgeable you are. If you have handled a problem, understand, who is the strongest fellow? Whoever has crossed the Biggest hurdle. One who has uh, gone over this Arunachala mountain, shall we give him Tanjig Narki award? <laughs> or the fellow who goes over the Everest? One who has climbed the Mount Everest, the whole world knows him. One who climbs the Arunachala hills, what prize you get? You can show up to other people. Oh, I have climbed that mountain. But one who climbs the Everest is somebody. If you say the vasana is a hurdle or any thought is a hurdle, it doesn't matter. If I can handle the biggest hurdle, every thought, every emotion, I'm the strongest person. I can handle every situation, every thought. So, vasana bad or good? <laughs> it provides you enormous chance to be yourself and to live with everything as you wish because you see the whole range of emotions okay so all the vasanas are in subtle body savasanam karma phala anubhavakam karma phala anubhava also karma phala anubhava happens in subtle body everything karma phala you gained there karma phala anubhava there and hey, student, you know, Shishya, Swa Agyanataha Anadi Upadhi Ratmanaha Swa Agyanataha Because you don't know yourself, Swa Agyanataha Because you don't know yourself, Agyana, you are not knowledgeable, you don't know yourself, because if you don't know Agyana, you don't know about yourself, Anadi Rupadhi Atmanaha Anmad Atmanaha Anadi Upadhi this is because of the atmanaha agyanataha, because the ignorance of yourself, upadhi anadi. Beginningless time, you have been identifying with this subtle body. Your thoughts, your body, because physical body, many bodies you pick up in life. Transmigration from life to life, one after another. Punarapi jananam, punarapi maranam, punarapi janani, jathare, shayanam, born again and again and again, identifying with many things. But the subtle body remains the same. 
and the subtle body also, your identification is how many? With every thought, you have got an identity. First identity is with I thought. After that, hoyo, what all vasanas, impressions, sound, taste, touch, smell, Ishwar. Are you seeing that clearly? You must see, take this verse and clearly observe the whole picture within yourself. I told this, then he further says, in this, this one, this subtle body, just like your waking body, gross body, as a waking state, the subtle body gives you the dream state. Read. Swapno bhavatya se vibhaktya vastham. Swamatra se se na vibhati yatra. Swapnam tu buddhi swayame vajagrate. Kalina nana vidavasana vi. Kartra di bhavam pratipadya rajate. Yatra swayam bhati hayam paratma. Dhimatra kopa dhirasesha sakshi. Nalipyate tat kruta karma lesai. Yasma da sanga tata eva karma vi. Nalipyate kinchitupadhina krutei. Beautiful. So, sapnam, sapnim, sapno bhavati asya vibhakti avastha. Independent field of experience for the subtle body is a dream. In the waking state, eh, please see, in the waking state, Please observe, in the waking state, you are fully involved at all levels. Waking universe, gross body, waking state in which your gross body is involved, gross sense organ, gross organs of action involved, subtle body is involved. Subtle sense organs are involved, eh? subtle sense organs, subtle organs of action, thoughts, memories, I thought, ignorance, also consciousness. Everything is involved in the waking state. That is why they call it Purna Avastha. Waking state known as the Purna Avastha, complete. And in waking state alone you can be liberated. In waking state alone, you can also have a sense of bondage. <laughs> In waking state, you feel the fear of death, fear of loss, fear of limitation. Are you getting that? In waking, in waking, when you are awake. You can feel the bondage, you can also be liberated. That is a Purna Avastha. Whereas in case of dream state, sapno bhavatyasya vibhaktya vasta, in, in, the, in, the, in the dream state, the subtle body alone, as though separated from everything, enjoys the dream state. In the subtle body, in a dream state, gross world doesn't participate. Gross world, are you getting that? In gross world, listen, the, the, in the waking universe, subtle body participates. The dream, not necessary. If they are there, not there also, not there, fine. Any dream is a thought, comes or not. Projections can be there. Listen. Whereas in subtle body, what happens is, when in a waking state, you can 
your body, gross body is involved, and you can consciously bring in your subtle body. In a dream state, your gross body is involved, but you cannot consciously involve it. But your gross body is helplessly involved. Why? Because pranamaya kosha is the connecting link between the gross body and the subtle body. Are you getting that point? When a man is alive, is the prana. Pranamaya kosha keeps the gross body connected to the subtle body. Are you getting that? Because even your body is lying down. Dead body doesn't breathe. Dead body doesn't have circulation. Dead body has no excretion. Dead body has no speech. No pranic function. So the pranamaya kosha is the link. Pranic, are you getting that? Is the link between the gross body and the Subtle body. So when in a subtle body, suppose a tiger is running after you, you are running heavily, you shout, and your body is shouting, and you wake up with your body <sighs> heavily breathing, panting. Because your body is participating, are you getting it? Unconsciously, not consciously, okay? So in deep sleep, in a waking state, in a dream state, Swapna avastha, linga sarirasya vibhakti avastha, where it is as though independently, separately enjoying the dream state. Swamatra sese na vibhati yatra. And there he enjoys the subtle body. Himself enjoys. Nobody else is enjoying. Himself enjoys. Acha, what does he enjoy? Swapne tu swayameva jagrat kalina nanavida vasanavi. In the waking state, jagrat kalina nanavida vasanavi. Whatever vasana he has picked up during waking state, whatever impressions of sound, touch, taste, smell, sight, they have picked up. From those cumulative impressions of the waking state, another world is projected during the dream. That is the sesha, meaning that is the one somatra seshena, whatever left over, whatever you have experienced in your waking state, that impressions left over, out of that, a dream is projected. That is why you never kill my father in your dream. To whom do you hit? Suppose you hate your uncle. You hate your, you know, in your dream you kick, shout, fight. Whomsoever you hate. Unknown people do you hit, hate? Nothing. It comes up. When it comes up, you are now experiencing it. Listen carefully. How? That is the most beautiful. In that time, when you are thus experiencing, listen carefully. Kartra divabam pratipadya rajate yatra swayam bhati ayam paratma. In the dream state also, kartra divabam pratipadya rajate. Karta I am the dreamer. There is also a dreamer. Karta Adibhava Pratipadya Rajati. Assuming the role of a dreamer. I am dreaming. Just like in waking state you say I am awake with the physical body. In the dream state there is a dream body. You have a dream body. Dream body or not? Do you have a dream body or not? In your, are you getting that? When you say, Swamiji, last night, when the tiger was following me, you know, who is that me? A replica, just like your body, this picture of the body, same type of body will be there. That body is running. You know, I suddenly find myself, I'm sitting in a shop, and so many cakes are there, so many sweets are there. Amma, <laughs> why you wanted to eat that? So in dream state, all oh, lovely cake shop, 
everything is inside around it and who your friends are also there whomsoever you know they are also there this thing so that is the one identifying that subtle body that particular picture of a body what is it i saw the dream you know who saw the dream you think that a dreamer the dream body saw the dream no yatra swayam bhati ayam paratma ayam paratma swayam bhati consciousness pure awareness conscious of the dream body and the dream are you getting that point please just like gross body doesn't experience the universe in the presence of the gross body through the subtle body awareness consciousness illumines the whole universe are you getting the arrangement in the presence of the gross body through the subtle body consciousness illumines the whole thing like see this look at this just see one perception this is a flower to see this flower what should happen the flower is there my eyes must open if my eyes are closed can i see the flower the body must cooperate you must make the body to cooperate suppose the body is not cooperating why whether is conjunctivitis you can't open the eyes can you see so you make the body healthy then open the eyes then you look at the flower okay open the eyes the truth the perception thought must take place and you must be conscious of the thought conscious of your eyes conscious of the flower and conscious of the whole world you can withdraw your attention from the whole world to the flower you can withdraw your attention from the flower to your eyes you can withdraw your attention from the eyes to your thought can you you can withdraw your attention from your thought that attention consciousness can you withdraw yourself from consciousness can you be unconscious please try to be unconscious come on anybody be unconscious you are with yourself that is the bliss in every perception waking dream you are there so tatra swayam bhati ayam paratma dhee matra dhee matra kosha dhi ashesha sakshi dhee matra kosha dhi ashesha sakshi it is the ashesha sakshi sakshi witness धी मात्रक अशेष उपाधि साक्षी इट इज धी मात्रक उपाधि अशेष साक्षी बिगिनिंग फ्रॉम बुद्धि मन बुद्धि चित्त अहंकार ऑल द मेमोरीज इंप्रेशंस एवरी उपाधि उपाधि उपहित वस्तु यूजुअली उपहित मीन दैट विच इज नियर बाय उपाधि that which is very near with your body understand with the body body is a upadhi it is you are conscious is it near you near means what you know it's like a roll you are conscious of your body nothing is away from consciousness whatever you are conscious of you are identifying with it's a sakshi it's a witness witness of thoughts the whole play of projection of dream the subtle body the gross body the gross world ashesha sakshi नलिप्यते तत्कृत कर्मलेश 
तत्कृत कर्मलेश उपाधिकृत कर्मलेश ही न लिप्यते उपाधिकृत एनी कर्म व्हाट एवर लिटिल और मोर एक्शन डन बाय द उपाधि ग्रॉस बॉडी सटल बॉडी द होल क्रिएशन न लिप्यते कंजियसनेस द आत्मा परात्मा नेवर गेट्स अफेक्टेड सो व्हेन यू टेक योर सेल्फ टू बी द अनात्मा देन ओनली यू आर इन प्रॉब्लम व्हाट पीपल स्वामी जी आई हैड ए वेरी बैड ड्रीम यू हैड ए ड्रीम वट यू मीन यू हैड ए बैड ड्रीम 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 केम वट यू मीन आई आई वाई डू से यू नो आई एम वाई आर यू सफरिंग फॉर दैट द ड्रीम केम आर यू क्रिएटेड इट इफ यू क्रिएटेड इट वाई शुड यू सफर इफ इट केम वाई शुड यू सफर आर यू गेटिंग दैट पॉइंट इफ दी इफ यू क्रिएट ए बैड ड्रीम वाई शुड यू सफर बिकॉज यू क्रिएटेड इट एंड डिमोलिश इट वन यू लाइक and if it came by itself it will go by itself it came by itself yes did it go by itself yes then what's your problem but why will it come why are you reacting our whole questioning are you getting that point but the questioning is but why the dream should come but why are you reacting why don't you ask over which you have no control you are asking why it came <laughs> why it came simple explanation is Whatever you have seen, heard, tasted, touched, experienced, out of that, the world is projected helplessly. That is the nature of dream. Dream means helpless projection. Two examples you take. You are stuck on chocolate. The moment the chocolate thought comes, it drives you crazy. Helpless projection. Understand? you are suffering okay another one is you have decided i think we should have some ice cream then you decided to go for the ice cream and you go into the go to the shop you reach the shop and when the day you go that is the day it is closed or if you go there the type of ice cream you want is not there how do you feel it's okay because you consciously decided the conscious projection makes not not much problem is unconscious identification creates problem dream is like an unconscious helpless projection should it matter to you let it come the trouble is when you analyze your dream you get into trouble there are some people who go on analyzing their dream what are you analyzing dream for just enjoy it and forget it you be yourself ultimately the dream will not last you shall last your memory you will not last your body you will not last everything go so why analyzing it understand their nature atma yourself the i the consciousness ashesh sakshi upadhi krute कर्मले से ही न लिप्यते इवन द बिग और स्मॉल एक्शन वट एवर इज डॉन बाई द उपाधि इट डजन गेट अफेक्टेड यस्म वै यस्माशंग तत कर्म भी न लिप्यते किंचितुपाधीना यस्मा असंग सिंस इट असंग संग मीन्स वन हुच इज इन्वाल्व असंग अन इन्वाल्व बाई नेचर कन्शियनेस इज अन इन्वाल्व लाइक आकाशवत like the space is asanga unaffected the space remains with cloud remains with water is not drenched by water the space accommodates the sunlight is not heated up by sunlight in the space the ice falls the snow falls ice mountains icebergs exist the space is not frozen asanga exactly like that chaitanya consciousness asanga yasmat asanga because it is uninvolved in and through everything is existing doesn't get affected by karma bhi na lipyate kinchit upadina krut karma bhi kinchit na lipyate whatever the subtle body does these sense organs perceive 
organs of action function, body growing, creation changing, indecision, decision, memories, I thought, ignorance, all of these things he gets affected. But everything happens in you. Until you identify, nothing can impose itself upon you, right or wrong. This table is heavy or light? Huh? <laughs> this table, is it a pain or pleasure? Only when you try to put it on your head, you will know it. Suppose you don't try to put it on your head. Is it heavy or light? Does it matter heavy or light? Who cares? <laughs> Only when you drag it onto your head, ayo, yo, rumba heavy, very heavy. Bahut ojandar hai. <laughs> if you don't drag it on your head, heavy or light? Anything that is bothering you, you have successfully dragged onto your head. Either on your head or in your head. You think. Just think for it. Anything or anybody that is bothering you, anything inanimate, Anybody inanimate, if it is bothering you, it is because you have very successfully dragged it onto your head. Since you have dragged it onto your head, nobody can remove it from your head unless you wish. Are you getting that point, please? Who can solve your problem? <laughs> only you can solve your problem. That is why no teacher says, I say solve your problem. Only idiots will listen to that, idiots will talk about that. I'll solve your problem. Uh -huh. I will, the teacher only can facilitate. Remember the examples very beautifully says, Chandra Swarupam Swachakshusayeva Na annirava gamyate. Chandra Swarupam Swachakshushayeva. You want to see the moon? Don't say, hey, can you go and see the moon rising for me and come back? <laughs> if you are hungry, you eat for yourself. Don't send somebody to eat for you and come. You have a problem? Yes. Can you solve my problem? Yes, I can. Facilitate. But you have to solve it. That is why the dietitian's job ends by advising you what diet you must eat. But if you don't eat it, it is not the dietitian's mistake. It's the doctor's mistake that he prescribes you medicine. If you don't take it, what can doctor do? I can share beautiful thoughts. But if you give it back to me and you say, Swamiji, bye-bye, now what can I do? The Upanishads can give you wonderful thoughts. But you, the, your head is already too full. There is no space for anything else. Who can handle it? Understand. Because of the ignorance, anadi avidya, you have dragged everything onto yourself. In reality, I am Paratma, who you are, the pure awareness. Nalipyate upadi krita karmale sehi. Whatever has been done by the gross body, subtle body, Mind, thoughts, emotions, you know, mano, buddhi, chittam, ahankara, subtle, you know, sense organs, organs of action, they are doing. You are not affected by it. You are yourself. Okay? We shall see more of it. Later on it comes. Yeah. We shall see. That's the last one. Then it will come. Beautifully it will come. How? <laughs> Nothing, no limitation belongs to you. It all belongs to the Upadhi. Because you are dragging, it comes to you. We shall see it in the afternoon. Okay. Close your eyes.